Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavra, a great visionary of the 19th century, dared to make radical reforms among the people of Kerala. His prophetic interventions made revolutionary changes in the then society. In 1831, he started the first indigenous religious congregation together with Malpan Thomas Purukara and Malpan Thomas Palakal at Manganam. His zealous followers continued to live out his charism throughout the world. Following the founding father's spirit, they heroically started their mission in Malabar region in 1935. Eight decades of missionary activities, CMIs have made remarkable contributions to the all round development of the mission territory and still successfully continue the journey. Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavra, our source of inspiration and the guiding light, lead us to the fullness of the Word of God. After the First World War, our nation had to face very huge economic setbacks and devastating famine. In search of better food and shelter, there was large migration. We Kerlites also passed through those hard times. Large number of people, especially Christians, moved from South Kerala to the Malabar region. It was the time when Malabar was directly under the jurisdiction of Manglo Diocese. In 1923, for the better administration and pastoral care, Calicut Diocese was erected. The bishops of Calicut Diocese were very supportive to the migrants. When their number increased highly within a short span of period, Bishop Paul Perini, the first bishop of Calicut, requested the then CMI general, very reverend father, Aloysius Parambal CMI to send missionaries to Malabar. Following the immediate death of Bishop Perini, Monsignor Benjamin Mary Ramsani took over and encouraged the procedure. Thus, on 31st July 1935, the first CMI Malabar missionary, Father Athanasius Payapalli, came down to Calicut and took the charge of Chervanur Church. He became the parish priest and started the pioneering Malabar missionary activity. Later, he started a school and orphanage there. The citizens of Calicut acknowledged his social leadership and appreciated his pastoral care. In the beginning, CMI missionaries were working under the Latin Diocese of Calicut. Our missionaries were the zealous shepherds for the migrants who had to undergo natural calamities, famine and deadly epidemics from time to time. Father Bernadine CMI gave relentless services as a retreat preacher and motivated them in faith and spirit. He gave a report about the migrant people to Father Placid Podipara, Father Romeo Thomas and Father Charles who were prominent at Mananam. They submitted the report to Rome and requested for zero Malabar parishes and a diocese. By 1948, we had 35 zero Malabar centers of worship. As a result, in 1949, with the support of Right Reverend Dr. Aldo Maria Patroni, the Bishop of Calicut, Father Kerubin Puriat CMI, became the first parish priest of Zero Malabar Church in Malabar region at Tariod. Realizing his excellent leadership, Bishop Patroni delegated him to conduct a survey among the Syrian Christians. He successfully identified around 60,000 Syrian Christians in different centers. Then with the authorization from the bishop, there started five more parishes on August 14th 1949, namely Thiruvampadi, Kudarini, Kudatai, Kanno, Kodanjiri. Just after one year, four more parishes were formed. It was very evident that our missionaries were the pioneering members who worked for the formation of the Diocese of Telicheri. Here, we need to remember 
some of our missionary fathers, such as Father Athanasius, Father Bernardine, Father Fabius, Father Raymond, Father Peter, Father Sergius, Father Epiphanus, Father Bergmas, Father Homis, Father Shabo, Father Nirakal, Father Kerubin, Father Antonios, Father Bertolomeo, and in a special way, Father Placid Puripara and Father Romeo Thomas. Bishop Patroni gave all the necessary support and recommended Rome for the formation of the Telicheri Diocese in 1953. Mar Sebastian Wallopoli was the administrator and the first bishop in 1954. Until the formation of Manantawadi Diocese in 1975, around 70 CMIs have served in the Malabar region. The first CMI monastery was established at Kadalundi in 1936. For the sake of easy administration, in 1953, the CMI congregation was divided into three provinces, Kotayam, Kalamacheri and Trishu. In 1959, Malabar Mission Region was entrusted to Kotayam Province. The first regional superior was Father Aurelius. In 1954, Sam Tom Carmel House was started at Amalapuri. It was the regional centre in Calicut. We bought landed properties at Taliparamba, Pushpagiri and Manandawadi to erect monasteries. Following Father Aurelius, Father Hadrian and Father James Pallivadakal became the regional superiors. Father James Pallivadakal worked hard for the expansion of the region. At his time, Merikunu was the regional house. It was a challenging period for the region. He bought landed properties at Lekri, Beki, Gudalu and Edapura. He started Kalpata Fatimamada Hospital and novitiate at Kudatai. In 1969, this region became Vice Province. Father James continued up to 1975. He prepared the region to become Vice Province and later a full-fledged province. In 1978, on July 3rd, when our Vice Province became a province, the then Vice Provincial Father, Jacob Cesario CMI, became the provincial of our St. Thomas Province. At this time, the provincial house was shifted to Amalapuri. The first nursery school of the province was started at Merikunna. Later, it was shifted to Paropadi. Merikunna became novitiate house. Kudatai became aspirant's house. He also started Amala aspirant's house at Devagiri. Houses at Lekri and Gudalu were raised to the status of monasteries. We thankfully remember the former provincials who immensely contributed to the continuous developments of our province. Their excellent leadership and committed services were the milestones and in the integral growth of our province. Father Thomas Tekel CMI is the present provincial who leads the province very efficiently. His experience, thoughtful approach and disciplined way of doing things give new vibrancy in our province. Calicut St. Thomas CMI province has a very rich tradition of CMI religious formation. We have experienced formators who are gracefully doing their ministry. We are running aspirants' houses at Lekiri and Devagiri. St. Thomas Mount Merikuna is our novitiate house where novices from Korikor, Kotayam and Mysore are doing their formation. It is an abode of spiritual nourishment, practices and integral growth. Our scholastics are doing their formation in different places such as Devagiri St. Joseph College, Dharmaram College, Varda and different colleges and theologates.
the second CMI intervention among the migrants in Malabar was our continuous service in the field of education. Devagiri St. Joseph College was started in 1956. Father Theodosius Karipa Parambil was the first principal. Father Shabo and Father Homis were the real heroes behind the establishment of our college. There were very few colleges in Malabar region then. Our college has become one of the best centers of higher education and it is one of the best colleges in the country accredited with AA plus UGC NAC at present. Moreover, Devagri became the wonderful education hub having college, schools both aided and unaided, school for specially talented and so on. Following the CMI tradition, our province is also successfully running CBSE schools carrying the benchmarks of centers of excellence. We are running successfully the B. Ed. College, namely Mother Teresa B. Ed. College at Perambra. In aid ed sector also, we are doing wonderful services. We took up the challenge to start quality education centers at all the regions of our province. Jammu Kashmir, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kasargod and Kannu districts which are comparatively less developed in terms of economic backgrounds. We should proudly remember the Jammu Kashmir region and its wonderful contribution in the field of education. We played the vital role in the process of educating the people of Jammu and Kashmir, especially of students from Poonj Rajori districts. The pioneering missionaries had done a Herculean task to bring up the institutions to a quality level. The respected fathers, who are still working there, are rendering the most wonderful services to the people. In pastoral and spiritual concerns, we are always at the services of the people of God around us. Together with the diocesan hierarchy, we are still running more than 10 parishes, retreat centers, perpetual adoration chapels and shrines. It should be properly highlighted that the missionaries who are working abroad, such as Australia, Brazil, and of course, who are in the first world are working very hard and ardently in the missionary spirit. We have a rich tradition of rendering social apostolate from the very beginning of the province itself. The geographical area in which we are doing our services itself demand proper social commitments. Following the pioneering fathers who had done marvelous social interventions we are doing rigorous and fruitful services. Fatima Mada Mission Hospital is giving the best medical services to the people of Vaina district. Our school of nursing also maintains the quality benchmarks. We are running special schools, self-help groups, government projects, conscientizing camps, counseling courses, poor home and also intervene during emergencies such as natural calamities. Malabar is always marked its agricultural traditions. From the very beginning itself, our province is giving ample importance to the agricultural sector. Our province maintains a number of estates having different types of crops. 
we have agricultural lands together with our monasteries. Many of our members are working hard in the agricultural sector and bring forth results. In 1997, we started the Chavra Cultural Center at Amalapuri, Calicut and it is working proficiently through its continuous interaction with the present socio-cultural scenario. The founding director was Father Job Mailadil CMI. He took all the pain to start this very different ministry and succeeded in making the center one of the best platform of social interactions. We gratefully bow our heads before our late souls who were the torch bearers, led a serene life and worked hard for us. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even before the establishment of the Diocese of Telicheri, the CMA Fathers were here to render wonderful services to the migrant people of the Siro Malabar right. I know certainly they have even sold their patrimony and brought the money here and purchased land and built churches and prosperities for the people. That was the dedicated service of the CMA Fathers. When the Calicut province is celebrating now the Golden Jubilee, may our Lord Jesus bless the CMA Malabar province and also uh, the provincial and his team and all the fathers and brothers belonging to the St. Thomas province, Calicut. May God bless you. St. Thomas province, Calicut is celebrating its jubilee. 50 years of blessing to church in India, church in Kerala and especially in this Malabar area. I wish very Reverend Father Thomas the KLCMI, his counselors and all the fathers in this province blessing and success. May God shower on you his choicest blessings from heaven today, tomorrow and all the days to come. I am very happy to learn that the CMI St. Thomas Province Calicut is celebrating its golden jubilee of its inception. It is an occasion to recall all the pastoral service rented the community, the congregation for the people of God of this Malabar region. May God send his choices blessings upon every member of this congregation. May God bless everyone. When we celebrate the Golden Jubilee of the province, we have to be grateful to our forefathers and all those who built this province at this level. It's time for us to renew and re-energize ourselves for a greater commitment like St. Kuria Kusilias Chavara with a motto, sanctification of oneself and salvation of all. I wish blessings and praise of this great event, Golden Jubilee of St. Thomas Province, Calicut of CMI Congregation. God bless. At present, we are 135 fathers there in St. Thomas CMI province. We have 55 brothers who are under formation. Our members are successfully doing their ministries in different mission fields. We are continuously refreshing, rejuvenating and carefully living our CMI charism and priesthood through community-centered activities, interactions and common celebrations in our fraternity. We are continuing the mission of proclaiming the word of God by trying to follow the footprints of our Lord Jesus. With immense gratitude, we remember all our well-wishers and the bishops in excellence who were timely intervened, helped and paternally giving blessings to us. Let the divine inspiration of Saint Chavara and our patron, Saint Thomas the Apostle, guide us to progress in seal and spirit. <laughs>